Welcome to The Daily Word. I'm, I'm really glad that you've joined me, and, and thank you for doing that. Um, for today's Daily Word, we're, we're actually not going to talk about one of our Journey Through the Bible readings. Uh, I'll tell you what happened, and um, I'll hope that you don't think I'm crazy. Um, you know, um, all, all of the news of the, the turmoil, um, particularly in our capital, um, is honestly is very concerning, I know, to us all. And as I was thinking and praying on this, um, I've been, been talking to some folks, and, and like I said, just lots of folks really concerned for good reason. And, and you know, I, I seek, and I think you know this, to, to leave, leave civil politics out of, uh, of what I do, of the ministry uh, that we do together. Uh, as a church family, I've certainly got my own opinions and so forth, but, um, but I hope that you will know that I'm, I'm not trying to be political. I just know that there's, there's some deep concern with lots of folks about the condition of our nation and the direction and the future of our nation, and, uh, and I share those concerns. Um, I, I, am, I am a very grateful American citizen. I, I love our nation. I love our history. I love the point and the purpose of our, of our nation uh, for which it was founded. Um, but, you know, I really felt like the Lord has put on my heart to, to remember that when, when everything is shaken, as the Scripture says, only the unshakable remains. When those things that we have put our faith and confidence in get shaken, we realize that it's truly the Lord. He is the only one ultimately and eternally that we can depend on. And so I'm thinking this through, and, and I felt like the Lord brought to mind this scripture about not, not trusting in, in war horses, right? Not trusting in military might. And I Honestly, I couldn't remember what psalm it was. I knew it was in the Psalms, and and I just <laughs> I just sort of put a fleece before the Lord, and I, it was kind of like, Lord, if you want me to share from this psalm, um, would you just direct me to it? And here's the part I hope you you, th- you don't think is weird, but maybe you will, and and I guess that's okay. But I opened the Bible, and it was Psalm 33, and um, and I read there. Don't count on your war horse to give you victory for all its strength that cannot save you. And I just, I said, okay, Lord, I guess we're going to talk about Psalm 33. And actually, I just want to read a good bit of it for you and let God speak into our hearts by His Word and and fill us with confidence in His kingdom and His sovereignty. We read, let the godly sing for joy to the Lord. It is fitting for the pure to praise Him. For the word of the Lord holds true, and we can trust everything He does. He loves whatever is just and good. The unfailing love of the Lord fills the earth. And then for a few verses, um, the the psalmist speaks of, of the creation of the world. The Lord merely spoke, and the heavens were created think on, we're invited by God in His Word, think on, God says, my power, that I, I merely speak, and I speak the universe into existence. And then we read in verse 10, the Lord frustrates the plans of the nations and thwarts all their schemes, but the Lord's plans stand firm forever. His intentions can never be shaken. What joy for the nations whose God, the nation whose God is the Lord, whose people He has chosen as His inheritance, right? And then we read this: the best equipped army cannot save a king, nor is great strength enough to save a warrior. Don't count on your war horse to give you victory, for all its strength it cannot save you. But the Lord watches over those who fear Him and those who rely on His unfailing love. He rescues them from death and keeps them alive in times of famine. We put our hope in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In Him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in His holy name. 
Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope, listen to this, our hope is in you alone, not divided between the agency of man, the agency of a government, and you, Lord, my own strength, and you, Lord. Our hope is in you alone, Lord. So two words here, and then we'll be done for today. Word one, what joy for the nation whose God is the Lord. Our focus, brothers and sisters, is not, is not on politics. I know it's important, it is, and I know that it's noble to serve in politics and so forth. Our focus, though, is on the advancement of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Our focus must be on the heart of our nation, that we, we draw people by the power of God and <laughs> to Jesus Christ. Our, our focus has to be on evangelism. If we want the future of our nation to be bright, to be good, then it will be because of Jesus Christ and Him alone. And so that's our chief focus, our chief end. And He alone is our hope. Not divided, not this or that. We trust in the sovereign God of the universe. That even though we don't understand why this has happened, that that's happening, this is going on, we don't understand why these things are happening, God is over it all. He knows the big picture. His plans stand firm forever, the Word says. We can trust because we have, we have read the end of the story. We know that the Lord wins. We know that He is leading history to a good end, and we trust in His plans. And so, um, friends, brothers, sisters, Let's, let's join together in praying for our nation and most of all for our mission in our nation and beyond. So if you would, please join me in prayer. Oh God, we, we do thank you for uh, our nation, uh, one nation under God. God, we, we pray that that would be true. We pray that you would use us to advance the gospel in our nation to be Lord, salt and light to transform our nation. We know, Lord, as Methodists, what it is for a nation to be transformed by the gospel. It happened back in the day with John Wesley and Charles Wesley and all of those faithful servants who advanced your gospel throughout England, Lord, and transformed the, the nation in that day. Lord, would you use us today? Would you do a work today, uh, bring, Lord, an awakening in this land and use us to do it, Lord. Help us in this time of chaos, of turmoil, to set our eyes firmly on you, Lord. We believe what your word says. We believe you are good. We believe that your plans hold fast, stand fast forever. And Lord, help us to set our eyes on that which is unshakable, on the things of heaven, and put our hope in you alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And until we get a chance to speak again, may God bless you and keep you.